Hello, this is Angela Anderson, and today we're doing a really fun fall project. We're going to make a rustic pumpkin wall hanging. I'm using wood, but you can use a canvas if you'd prefer. And I have wood putty here that I'm just uh, filling in some cracks on my wood piece and sanding it down lightly. If you use a canvas, you will want to um, paint the background, maybe an off-white or something like that. Uh, we're going to be using an outdoor decoupage product made by DecoArt and uh, that way we can hang it on the front door or something like that, put it on your front porch for the fall if you want to. <clears throat> I've made a leaf template and I have traced out my leaf there on the papers and now I'm going to make a pumpkin template to use for my pumpkin papers. Just draw a large oval and I'm using regular old cardstock for this it's a little bit thicker than regular paper but you can use plain paper if you don't have cardstock. Fold your middle piece in half so that it's perfectly symmetrical and then cut out your two side pieces and number them so that you don't forget which sides go where and you're going to be using those side pieces twice and don't forget your stem Okay, so then find some various cardstocks. Uh, I'm using scrapbook papers in various colors. And when you pick your colors, you might want to think about uh, how they're going to look against each other and vary them in value so that uh, you've got light against dark and um, that'll help with the overall effect. And vary up the patterns too so that you don't have two polka dots sitting next to each other or something like that. And when you mark, um, when you trace these out, you'll want to mark them so that um, these side pieces you'll want to flip. One side goes one way, and then you'll flip it over and do the other side the opposite way. And then just mark them A and B so that you know once you cut them out where they go. And I'm also using another product by DecoArt called Feathered Friends. It's a stencil. It's got all these great little birds on it and I'm just using it as my template to trace out my little birds for this design. And you'll want to just take your time and cut these out carefully. If you're working with kids you can have them do this part. It's really fun. Or you can do it for them and just have them glue it down, whatever you prefer. If you've got small kids that aren't really good with scissors. But I find that most kids can work do this project. We've done I did this with my kids class and they really had a good time with it. So as you cut them out, you'll want to pay attention to the marks that you made so that you'll know where they are being placed and just set them in order. And this will save you a lot of headaches later so you don't have to do a little puzzle and try to figure out where they go. And I'm just using regular old scrapbook paper. It's a little bit thicker than your regular paper but if you don't have scrapbook paper you could even paint some papers and cut them out and then carefully place your pieces on after you get them traced out and cut you're going to want to rub the edges with some charcoal and I'll show you that here in a second and just while you do this just kind of keep them in place so that you don't get them all mixed up and here I'm putting down a paper towel to protect my workspace and then I'm using either a q-tip or if you have a like a drawing uh, drawing tool set you'll find that you have like a little blender tool that comes with those and you could use that but a regular q-tip works fine and this is just a charcoal pencil and we're just darkening up those edges to give them some dimension and I decided to go ahead and draw in some little veins too. And be sure you smudge these otherwise you're going to get um, this charcoal all over in your glue when you put on your decoupage media. You want to really smudge these out good because otherwise your decoupage will turn gray. So. On these side pieces, you only have to do the, the outside edge of them. You don't have to do the inner edge because they're going to overlap a little bit, so you don't need to do both sides. 
but the middle piece you're going to want to do all the way around. And just take your time and stay as close to the edge as you can. And then blend it out. If you get it too far to the center, you can use a little eraser to help you clean up any little mistakes that you make. And once you get them all blended, you'll want to be sure that you clean your hands really well too, because this stuff can be pretty messy. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now you're just going to want to place your pieces on your board. And I'm leaving, I'm setting them kind of towards the bottom, leaving a little space at the bottom, but leaving enough room at the top for my little bird to sit up there and some leaves or something. And then I'm tracing out with a pencil a little um, bit. I decided I needed to trace at the top too. so. Go ahead and trace both a little bit at the top. Just those outside pieces are really your main area that you need to be concerned with because once you get those down correctly, then the rest of them all kind of fall into place. So just mark them lightly with a pencil so that you know where to place them and overlap them slightly. Make sure you put your stem down before you put in your middle piece because you want it to kind of be behind everything. When you're putting this, using this product, if you've never used a decoupage product before, you want to lay down a fairly thick layer and then really press down on your papers to smooth it all out um, and then put your top coat on and make sure you've got a good bond with your bottom area before you put your top coat on. And then in between steps, if you've got to layer your papers, dry it a little bit. But be careful when you've, you've dried them. You don't want to get them too hot because the glue be can become sticky. So, and the product that I'm using is Outdoor Decoupage made by Americana Deco Art. And um, it, this will make it um, seal our wood so that we can put this outside. So if you don't want to put it outside, you can just use regular decoupage product and you can see there that I had a little gap in my paper so I just kind of stuck a little bit more glue down underneath and just make sure you've got it all well sealed and then once you get all of your papers down you want to put them put a coat of this decoupage um, medium all over the whole thing so it's completely sealed all around once you've got it all sealed then you can do your drawing and also smudge it to kind of link up those little leaves and give them some curly curly cues. Don't draw too heavily on your papers at this point because those papers are wet still underneath. Even though the top might feel dry, the papers are um, had soaked in that that. Um, glue and so they will be delicate for uh, a few hours until they're cured. So if you draw over the top of them you just want to draw really carefully and make sure that you go over this with your paper towel too to rub off any extra smudges. Yeah so here where I'm drawing on top of my pumpkin and draw really lightly because that paper really wants to tear at this point and you don't want to press down too hard on it. Okay we're almost done. Uh, you can use metal picture hangers. I would use metal uh, because it's wood and it's pretty heavy. So I would use a heavy duty picture hanger for the back of this and then you could attach some ribbon to make it pretty and hang it. And now I'm rubbing in some dark chocolate acrylic paint onto the edges to antique them. You'll want to make sure that you've sealed your board at this point, otherwise you'll have it kind of an uneven coverage with this. Use a damp cloth and just rub it in along the edges to antique it. And then seal the whole thing with another coat of your outdoor decoupage medium to seal it and weatherproof it. Hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I have. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.